Hey guys, Howard here with a collection of blues turnarounds. We can never have too many of those in our back pocket. I'll do about 10 in all, maybe a few more, uh, and I'll do it in a variety of keys just to keep it interesting, okay? And as a note, these can be used as intros and outros as well, right? They can function as turnarounds, but also a lead in to a 12 bar blues. And most of you probably know what a turnaround is, but just in case, it basically takes up the last two bars of a 12 bar blues. So you come off of the five chord, for instance, to the four chord, and then you play a turnaround of some kind. So that's exactly what we'll be doing. Okay, this first one is in the key of E, the key I just messed with right then. And uh, I'll play it at tempo, and then we'll slow it down and take you right through it. And right back into it, okay? So once again, we come off of the uh, five chord to the four chord, and then we play the turnaround. You've got the tab up on the screen, but here it is nice and slow. So we have a double stop out the gate. You can use whichever fingers you choose for that. Uh, we hit the double stop, open E string, slide from the third fret to the fifth fret on the B string. And then once again, grab that open E string. And then we have third fret on the B string, then open, and then we have a four note hammer on and pull off. Very Jimi Hendrix, if you will. To the second fret on the D string. Back to the G string, open. Second fret, D string. Open, D string. Back to the second fret. See that on the tab, but open A string, first fret, second fret with your second finger so that you can fall into the shape of this B7 sharp 9. And for instance, as I said, you can use these as intros or outros uh, if you wanted to end a blues and E, you could go to an F9, to an E9, and that would sound quite nice as well. Something like that could sound uh, quite nice. So, moving into uh, lick number two, this one is also in the key of E. It's uh, essentially a Jeff Beck lick for the most part, okay? And you would play this over a uh, more of an eighth note straight ahead thing. And again, if you wanted to use it as an outro, you would just go to like an E9 or an E7 sharp 9, it would sound pretty nice as well. So let me slow that one down for you as well. seven of course at the end of that one and moving on to lick number three we are still in the key of E and this is one of my favorites you might recognize it from Zeppelin's bring it on home That's a real favorite of mine. I love that one. And for that one, you want to hit that uh, the root chord, the one in the one four five progression first before you start that pattern. And you can play that a couple of different ways. The way I have it tabbed out is like this. 
see that I'm using a little hybrid picking for that. But you can also come back and hit the D string again as well. Like that, or just the way I've tabbed it out. And you can use whatever fingering you want for that. Anything will do, okay? And then of course we hit that E6 chord at the end. Very cool of Jimmy indeed. All right, now moving on to uh, lick number four, we are in the key of A for this one, and uh, it's got a little bit of a rockabilly flavor to it. I love those kind of licks. So once again, we're in the key of A, so we're coming off of the five to the four in that key, which would be E, D, and then we do our turnaround, okay? So uh, this is how this one is played. You could also, that's an E7 sharp 9 at the end, of course. But you could also go F9 to E7 sharp 9. That would sound pretty cool as well. And you'd be right back into your blues pattern. And speaking of using the F9 into the E7 sharp 9, that one sounds uh, particularly good on this one, lick number 5. Also in the key of A, and with that shuffle feel, but just eighth notes. Kind of a ZZ top kind of thing, and very cool indeed. Uh, similar to George Harrison in For You Blue as well, okay? So what I'm doing on that one is I'm barring across the uh, E string and the B string at the fifth fret with my pinky. And then grabbing the G string at the second fret with my first finger. And I think uh, just basic alternate strokes is best for this down, up, down, up, etc. Then I move my ring finger to the fifth fret on the D string. Then the fourth fret using my second finger. Third fret with my first finger. And finally the second fret on the D string by itself. And of course, F9 into E7 sharp 9, okay? That makes a nice ending as well. You can go B flat 7 to A7. So like I say, intros, outros, turnarounds, they're pretty much useful for all those purposes. And keeping with that kind of turnaround, the uh, infamous descending line. This one's in the key of G, kind of a traveling riverside blues type turnaround. So it's in the key of G, so we would come off of the five chord, which would be D to C, and then we'd play our turnaround. So that's a pretty easy one, but pretty cool in the key of uh, G. And uh, I use cross picking for that down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up, because they are triplets after all. And again, if you wanted to use it as an outro. perfectly fine but to that root chord of course and again keeping with the uh, classic descending line of a blues turnaround uh, here's how you can basically do it in E that sounds pretty nice as well <laughs> into your blues. So I'm using a bit of cross picking for that one as well uh, because it's a wider swing of course but it's down, up, up. Okay, just a simple down, up, up I think will do it. And then C9 to uh, B7 sharp 9. And applying an ascending bass line on that turnaround we could use the uh, sixth E string and start with it open. Move to the fourth fret, fifth fret, sixth, finally to the seventh, and then say C7 to B7, okay? So we would have. And so on and 
so forth. Now here's a real standard one. Uh, everybody's heard this one, but I thought I would include it since we're doing these ascending and descending lines, which I'll talk more about in a little bit. So this one's also an E again, and just like the uh, Jimmy Page one, you want to land that one chord first. So this is just a simple use of double stops. You can see which fingers I'm using. Feel free to use whatever works for you. But I'm at the fourth fret on the G and the B string, and I think just alternate strokes is good. Down, up, down, and repeat that. At the third fret, second fret. And then hammering on to the G string with the open B and E strings. Get that cool kind of bring it on home. That type of thing, right? So again, we have... And right into your 12 bar blues as usual. So for lick number eight, I'm moving back to the key of A and we have this. Okay, so what I'm doing is I've got a double stop across the B string and the G string at the seventh fret. Bend and release, about a quarter of a bend. Then 5th fret, back to 7th fret, back to the 5th fret. 7th fret on the uh, D string. And then we've got that classic little blues hammer on. Then come back to the D string at the 7th fret and slip up to the 7th fret on the A string. So we have... And then we have 5th fret on the D string, back to 7 on the A, 6th fret on the D string, then to the 7th fret on the D string. To a good old E7 sharp 9 at the end, okay? Now for this next one, I thought it would be nice to throw in uh, something in a minor key, okay? So I'm thinking in B minor for this one. And so the turnaround chords would be B minor seven, E minor seven, and then F sharp seven, sharp nine. So once again, we would have, right? And so what I'm playing over those chords is this. So it really decorates the chords. It gets right inside those chords. So let me just play that one for you nice and slow, of course, with the tab on the screen. Kind of a sweet minor blues turnaround for you. And for the last one, officially number 10, um, We've been talking about descending blues lines and ascending blues lines. Those are both pretty common and pretty infamous. So what this last one does, a little shout out to Harold on this one, by the way. Uh, what this last one does is it gets you going in both directions at the same time. You'll hear the uh, descending line. And you'll hear an ascending line at the same time. to do. So let me just slow that one down for you. And uh, it's pretty simple and pretty easy to see on the tab. You can also play them simultaneously. Just hit the strings at the same time. Using that octave at the end, perhaps. So there you go with 10, a little bit more than 10 uh, blues turnarounds. Hopefully uh, some fun stuff there for you. And by all means, make it your own. Feel free to mix and match. You know, you can use one part of one turnaround and combine that with another part of another turnaround. And you can get some pretty cool sounds going, okay? 
So all the best to everyone as usual. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.